Morning friends, Mike here, smoking room chair. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Southern Ontario. I was just uh, reading comments and stuff because I just, I get a kick out of seeing what other people think and I find that's a, a great way to gain perspective. And I noticed the only thing we ever seem to talk about in the comments is the things that we differ on. I support Trump, I support Biden, I'm for the, the war, I'm not for the war, I'm pro-life, I'm pro-choice. You know, as long as we just keep focusing on the things that are making us different, we're never going to find any common ground. Now, I'm pretty sure that most people, whether they support this or they support that, they want to have a roof over their head. They want to have food in their belly. They want to feel loved. You know, those are pretty common things that if you look at society, most people, except for like serial killers and psychos, they, they want that. But yet we continually fight amongst ourselves while our rulers sitting in Ottawa and Washington and all around the world, they just laugh. They're laughing at us because we're not even paying attention to the real enemy. And the biggest threat and the head of the snake that is detrimental to all of us is a central bank. Why, you may ask? Well, central banks, they produce money with debt attached. The first dollar that goes into circulation has debt attached to it. So when you want to pay that dollar back, you have to get $2. And that also has debt attached. And it keeps going and going and going. Take a look. Abraham Lincoln. When the, the Civil War broke out, uh, Europe offered to fund the war for them with 30% interest. Now, Lincoln was a pretty smart guy, right? So he said, no, we're not doing that. I'm going to issue the greenback. And that actually uh, ended up causing most of Europe to support the Confederacy because, you know, central banks are power. So, we all know how the Civil War played out. The North won. Slavery was ended. And Lincoln decided, we're going to keep issuing the greenback. Well, what happened to Lincoln? He got shot. Dead. So let's fast forward uh, another hundred years to JFK. Now, part of JFK's plan was to end the Federal Reserve, which produced money with debt attached. What happened to JFK? Dead. You guys need to realize that nothing matters except for getting rid of the central bank, which issues debt currency with debt attached. I can't stress you not. It, abortion doesn't matter. None of this other shit. Well, I mean, abortion issues do matter. Don't, don't attack me for that one, friends. But anyways, look into it. Look into central banks and currency being produced with debt. And you will see that it is the epitome of the misery that has been wreaked upon us for the last hundred years now. Anyways, friends, thanks for listening. Have a great day. And if you're new, subscribe. Give it a like. All right? Cheers.